Welcome to Stone Cold Classics and today we have another interesting little car. This is a 1961 DKW F11. It's a UK car which makes it quite unusual so it's right hand drive. So this is a proper UK supplied car from 1961. The current owner bought this car as a project. It was a bag of bits and he has successfully and quite wonderfully put it all back together to become a very usable and very straight, nice little car. Been furring wax hold underneath for future protection. Um, and uh, yes, it's, it's just uh, probably quite unique amongst DKWs being right hand drive. Let's have a look around it. Paint's all very good on the car. Wheels and tires are great. Nice and straight bodywork. Chrome's very good on the car, very good indeed. Badges are all present. Deluxe. You'll see the Audi rings on this car all over the place. This is this company is effectively what Audi were. And you'll see the badges on the on the hubcaps and on the front of the car are the four rings of the auto union, which is what Audi sort of came from. Four badges of the four different companies that were formed to create Audi, or the auto union which became Audi. The floors, let's, um, there's a couple of little floors in it. The door on this side does not fit great. Um, the theory is, we discussed this with the owner, that this door probably wasn't the original door to the car. It's in a replacement because it just doesn't want to fit properly. It sticks out at the bottom there. And it's a bit tight there. It's not too bad down this side. It just doesn't quite fit properly. It's just, this doesn't line up quite right there. Um, and there is a little bubble down there on the boot lid. Other than that, she's really nice, usable little car. Let's have a look in the boot. When I say usable, it genuinely is a usable car. It's, um, I followed the owner of this car up the bypass the other day and it easily hit 70 miles an hour, which is what my car was reading. And um, it was ripping along the road nicely. Very comfortable, very, very um, sophisticated for its day. Certainly weren't any British cars in 1961. The drove as well as this did, does. I can't imagine the equivalent Anglia would be uh, as quite as nice to drive. Let's have a look inside. Seats are in great condition, front and back. It was only completed a couple of years ago, this car, but it has done some miles. The owner does like to drive it. It's uh, been to many, many places right through Europe. You've got a conventional four speed gearbox, which is like a H pattern one, two, three, four, and reverses across and up, pull it pushing up. Um, it's a two stroke car, so you have to mix two stroke oil with the car, with the fuel. It's 87,900 miles on the speedometer, but that can't be believed. We don't have any paperwork, we've just got the V5, which shows six previous keepers um, since 1961, which is not bad. And, um, three A3 sides of paper documenting what the owner's done to get this car up to back up to this standard. He's very methodical and uh, very good, very competent mechanic and car restorer. So this car is um, uh, very usable. Pull that open, that's a bit of a, there we go. And there's underneath there, all in great condition. See the uh, inner wings on the car are really great. There's the auto union wing tag. So yeah, really, really solid all the way through. See through there. Tiny little engine, three, three cylinder engine, but really got some power, really goes nicely down the road. Um, some of these little cars can be quite a liability, but um, it's just a bit too slow for modern traffic, but this car, 
drives along nicely with everybody. Fabulous little thing. We haven't agreed on a price quite yet, so uh, check the website out for that. Stonecoldclassics.com. Lots more pictures and full description on there. If you're interested in this car and cars like it, like and subscribe to the channel. There's a big archive of cars to delve through, all sorts of weird and wonderful things. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.